Tell me a little bit about the phonology in the Besa. The, there's two versions of that, again, one in Spanish and one in English. And we test the sounds of each of the two languages. And we test them using the patterns of the two languages. So I think everybody knows that Spanish has lots of um, long words, so multisyllabic words. Um, but there aren't a lot of um, blends, and there aren't a lot of sounds that are permitted in the final um, position of syllables. And so we built a test that really represents Spanish, the way that Spanish is constructed, and then another version that represents English, the way that English is constructed. And how are the Spanish and English sections of the test similar and different? Across the two tests, we selected items that are similar in difficulty, and we only selected items that um, maximize differences between children with and without language impairment. So this is a test for four-year-olds, five-year-olds, and six-year-olds. And so we looked at item difficulty for each of those three ages. And then we have items that are, um, for example, that have a, a difficulty level of 0.8 for four-year-olds for Spanish and then for four-year-olds for English. And so it might be two different items, but psychometrically they have the same difficulty level. And so we do the same thing to represent items for five-year-olds and to represent items for six-year-olds. And all the items have um, uh, discriminant functions or um, discrimination values um, that um, show differences or distinctions in performance between children with and without language impairment.